Did <laughs> <laughs> you guys see the movie Magic you, right you now? You guys cannot see what's going on behind the scenes, but I'm getting very confused as we get ready to start off this set. <laughs> All right, we're all good. It's talking talking to some people behind the scenes, but now we are chilling as we get off to a hot start. Quick 35% now, 43 and more being put on by MK Leo. Yeah. And he just holds that. Yeah, and again, we're gonna see a tried and true classic here. The Cloud versus the Joker. Uh, Joker's been the uh, character of choice uh, for Leo in this bracket so far. So, you know, we'll see if that continues to be the trend here going forward. And already off to a solid percentage lead uh, here on Spargo. Spargo just struggling to get even his first hit in. Doesn't manage to convert that fair into anything else afterwards either. And it's just Leo in complete control as he gets the drag down Ooh. into the down smash to close out that first stock. This is already the MK Leo show. He is trying to start off his year with a bang and a win over Spargo. Fargo would certainly do just that. And able to take that first stock without needing the without needing uh, the arson, that's so huge because you're gonna be able to utilize the hard hitting hitboxes very well here, but Spargo doing a good job navigating around it, but Leo able to get a hit in edgewise. Leo already going for some crazy options. That uh. F smash towards Spargo, the guns not enough to stun him, so the fair comes out nonetheless. Leo Arsen goes away and hit the dash low profiles underneath the back hit of up smash. Spargo thought he might have been able to get a cheeky little hitbox in, but unsuccessful. And Leo just keeps on piling this damage up. Be Gets off ledge safely too. Spargo, no success. Ooh, there we go. Gets the first hit of fair. Not going to drag down he needs here, but Leo continuing to add on this pressure. The dash attack though will clean up that stock. 96% on the tab though already last. Spargo's going to have to play this one a little tighter than the best. Well, this is certainly a good way to start off the second stock when you're down by a little bit of a couple onesies, twosies coming in. But Leo misses out on the up air, but still drags him down nonetheless with a grapple. You're not far enough to be safe from me, says he. And air dodges straight through. Limit is burn, and Spargo going to have to find some Oops. more ways to get damage, but he's doing just that. And there you go. Going to get the reflect on the uh, blade beam right there. And Spargo continues to set up shop at the ledge here. Leo just about to run out of Arsene and does so. And it's, ooh, going for it, but neither one coming up with the KO they need. Quick little down smash from Leo closes out the stock, but it's seeming like Spargo is finding his footing as he quickly bears off the Angel platform and brings us all to even. A lackluster start from him has quickly turned into a very salvageable game for Spargo if he can close this out, but Leo not going to try and give him that opportunity, still barely holding on to this lead. Vanilla Joker down air is such a great move, by the way. You saw how he was able to set up into a little bit of an exchange right there. And now Leo can turn to add on the pressure, you know, keeping some good distance between him and Spargo kind of forcing him to use the blade beam there as the limit option of choice as that uh, timer starts to take down. Here we go. The bad man is back last. It's interesting, though, that neither one of these guys have gotten any mileage whatsoever off of their respective mechanics. Spargo has missed pretty much every limit attack, and Leo's been doing a lot more work with Vanilla Joker as opposed to Arsene Joker. Spargo looking to catch the tech roll, but Leo, a quick little KO. Gonna give him game number one. Yeah, we were just talking about how it was, you know, it was giving very much third act of an action movie there. Both of them just kind of bare knuckles brawling, not using their uh, their powerful, uh, you know, game tilting advantages there. But you saw Arsene uh, on deck right there for that fair one into the up smash. So try the true that we've seen so many times uh, from MKLeo. And yeah, listen, if that's anything to set the pace here, we're in for a big one. And again, just barely missing right there, missing the dash grab, and that's uh, all you need. That singular hit into the up smash. Leo did such a good job uh, in that first game of letting Spargo swing first and miss. That was kind of seeming to be his game plan. Going into that is like, okay, I'm going to let Spargo swing the Buster Sword because I can't contest him in neutral if we're hitting at the same time. So I'll let him go first, make him miss, and then fire back right after. The bands came through, and it is just going to be PS2 once again. Nothing wrong with the stage, so we can go right back to it, say, both players. Yep, the old-fashioned evade and a punish. So let's see if Spargo can make the adjustments here again. It was a very closely contested set. And here we go, off to a pretty decent start right here as the cross slash comes through, keeping some corner pressure up. Well, and this is exactly why Leo was committing to that game plan that I was just talking about, because when he tries to contest Spargo directly, Spargo is going to win those interactions and do a whole lot of damage to boot. 73, 76 rather, on Leo now. He's going to lose out on that Arsene before too much longer if he's not careful, but he might be able to make it count oh. here. Almost getting a kill off of that. Yeah, excellent surrender from Leo. Continuing his pressure, forcing the air dodge, and going off deep for it. There we go. Nice, you know, even if it wasn't 
you know, the, 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 the hit that you needed from the fair. You know, being able to keep Sparkle at bay that long was enough to net the, the KO there. Yeah, just him. push him back just far enough so that he can't reach ledge. Spargo very quickly comes down again. He's trying to make use of that Angel Platform invincibility, but Leo, way too smart to fight him when he's not tangible. Back air, though, not enough to kill. So Leo's going to recover and try and figure out a way off this ledge, and he does it with Rebel's Guard. Spargo has to back off, not wanting to give Leo a second Arsene so soon. He's got limit now, though, but he's already taken a lot more damage. There you go, just trying to utilize the pressure, and there we go. Finally able to get the big limit hit that he's been looking for to set so far with the limit cross slash out of shield that's gonna get Spargo on the board here, but 77%. You know, Leo's already kind of built a nice foundation for this lead here, and it doesn't take much against Cloud, you know, especially uh, without limit uh, to take the stock last. Good movement from Spargo, like sure he took a lot of damage there, but the average Cloud would have been dead for sure in that situation, so it at least gives him a second chance to fight with Leo on this stage. But that fight is not going his way at the moment, as Leo has already gotten him well above the percent where a drag down fair will kill. Arsene Ooh. comes out and it gets him away from that down air it seemed like. Tatarakarn coming through as well, but an up B. Well, it's anybody's game off stage. <laughs> well, Leo able to live to see another day here, Try continuing to add on. Uh, Tennis lead and hang on to the stock. Ooh, but it's right cloud coming in clutch there because of the higher side B hitbox to catch Leo dropping through that platform. The grab, grab from Spargo. These grabs have been great too. Uh, like Cloud usually doesn't get too much off of his right. grab, but Spargo's using it so well to just be like, okay, give me a, a split second to compose myself, a little bit of stage control, and I'll show you what I can do with it. A back air for the stock, and Leo now the one on the back foot scrambling to take the stock away. Yeah, 170 on the tab right now for Spargo. Any sort of solid hit in the corner, most likely going to net a uh, KO here, but still continuing to hang on in these uh, high percents. Wow, 186. If Spargo crosses 200, that would be an insane achievement for this game number two, and he's very <laughs> close to doing it. 99 and Leo finally <laughs> after the hit, 209, but it's still plenty enough to close out the stock, and it's still very clutchable. Spargo, despite living that long, did not do that much extra credit. But here comes Arsene right here, exactly at a percentage for Leo. I'm sure I'd like to see it in these low percents, being able to bring this uh, this lead back a little bit here. Ooh, the catches Spargo unaware. Spargo was trying to call out like a neutral air dodge down to the ground, but instead he gets immediately caught by that falling nair that lingers for so long. Wasn't able to deal with that hitbox, and now it's Leo in control, oh. but a wayward F smash gets him punished heavily. Back at the ledge here, 116. Leo has to be very careful here, trying to get out of the corner and able to navigate very nicely there, but Spargo right trying to meet him with the back air. What is the ledge trap going to be? A lot of bears, as usual. <laughs> and one from Leo, though, might come up a whole lot huger. An up air keeps Spargo in disadvantage. This juggle might be enough for Leo to close this out. A drag down, but the shield comes out and an up smash to fire back. Spargo wins game number two by the skin of his teeth. Great response right there from Spargo. Like I said, down to the skin of his teeth was up big there, and you, you kind of get used to it. You hear the music start to grow in the background. The horror movie monster that is MK Leo. They're gonna come back. Look at this, he SDI'd in so that he would hit the ground earlier and get shield out. I, if that was, hats off to Spargo. I, <laughs> he's incredible. Kids do the darndest things, don't they? There you go, one more time. Oh my God, look at it, woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was over here and now I'm over here. Buffer shield while Leo charges the, oh my goodness. Oh, and the wind up. See ya. And it's out of here. <laughs> It is high, it is far, it is gone for sure. We are tied at 1-1, a pop here. We're going right back to put PS2 between MKLeo and Spargo. Tied up at 1-1, a piece going to the rubber game. Exactly what Spargo needed to get himself back into the set after a, a poor opening and a, a lost game in game number one. He closes out that game number two, but he is in great shape now. Well, I say that, but he's already getting pieced up, reminiscent of how game one started, and he cannot let that happen to him if he wants to stay in this set. There you go, Arsene coming on to play there, and a great, great immediate awareness right there from Leo, knowing where he was able to swing as early as possible there. Ooh, gets the patent it down there, but not gonna be able to get the spike out of it. The Spartan refuses to fight back, yep. but the counter is gonna interrupt whatever edge guarding opportunity he it might have. It gets everyone eventually, <laughs> the Arsene down B comes through for Leo to get him out of that situation, pushes Spargo, and he uses it to take stage control and then take the stock. These up smashes from both players have been lethal throughout this set. Yeah, definitely been a favorite move of both combatants here. 
Let's see what Leo's able to do with this lead here. Aspargo still fighting her. There we go. Like we mentioned, the counter. You know, everybody, it'll eventually get everybody uh, at some point in time. So Gets everyone at one point. Just got to make sure it's not at a critical moment. Leo looking for a gun edge guard here. Spargo gets popped up, but he's able to grab ledge before Leo can act. Leo, a uh, little bit, like, surprisingly not as lethal as usual on the, in these offstage interactions. He's only really gotten one kill. But as I speak, I bring it into existence. <laughs> that, that was my fault, my bad. Leo takes the stock. Commentators say it, die commentator blessing. Or something like that. It's a blessing or a curse depending on who you're rooting for. <laughs> that's that's what it is here. A nair from Leo, a late hit nair Ooh. too, puts Spargo in an awful position. And he's just swinging out of disadvantage. Leo not quite going to get the punish that he was looking for, but it's a dangerous spot. And Spargo just seems like he doesn't know how to get out of it. There you go, Arsene no longer on the board here, but Spargo Winds up with that up smash, able to get on the board here in game three. But like, like you mentioned before, uh, last MK Leo was not looking. It was definitely turned it up into another gear here. An interesting attempt with the the high neutral beam, the blade beam. I don't know if he was like trying to catch Leo jumping to to anti air him, but it just ends up burning a limit. And now Leo's got Spargo at the ledge once more. <laughs> the falling dare sends him so far out, and he's too far away from limit to charge it. A low percent two stock from MK Leo to win. Game number three, as you referred to it, the rubber band game. Yeah, definitely a huge stuff right there. Uh, you know, for Leo, you know, you always kind of worry. You know, always kind of wonder how someone's going to respond after a loss like that. Uh, you know, where you were literally <laughs> frames away from going up 2-0. The punch into the set would have completely changed at that point. And Leo came out like a man possessed. And but I mean. There's something to be said about Leo's experience. Of course, people are always going to talk when your results take a dip, but he's been there more than anybody else in Smash Brothers Ultimate up on that stage at the absolute up highest echelons of the game. So if there's one thing that he's going to have, it's composure. Yeah, which is what, like the kids say nowadays. He's him. He is him. All right, but let's see what Spargo has left in the tank. Again, definitely not someone you can count out in these scenarios. But Arsene already on deck for MKLeo. You're going to cross that's going to come through. Continue that on this lead here uh, for Spargo. A little bit of a lead, but Leo has the opportunity to take it away. Okay, the aggressive fair from offstage. Spargo got punished for it a couple of times, but decided to try it again. Brings it back on stage and takes control again. And this has been really a matchup of stage control. Who's controlling the center and who's controlling the ledge is usually who's winning these interactions and who's winning these games. Yeah, both these characters are so good at being able to ledge trap you for what feels like in, 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 you know, in an uh, infinite Ooh. amount of time. But there we go. Both guys kind of swinging on each other's shields. The downer out of shield won't be enough uh, for Spargo to get the KO there. Ooh, goes from the top rope with that uh, climb hazard. It's like what I said earlier. When they, like, when they actually try and box it out, duke it out, it's going to be a cloud that usually comes out on top and a taunt from Leo Ooh. after an F smash on the missed tech. He's feeling himself, if nothing else, and he's feeling like this could be a 3-1. Looking cool, Joker. Looking cool, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> well played. There Had to go. hit it. Okay. Landing Nair going to put Spargo in early. Air dodge isn't punished. Leo's been trying to bait that out pretty hard, but he hasn't really acted on it yet. Oh, and the landing Nair just ignores that side B entirely. And yep, another air dodge punished by a grab. Leo has to be careful with how much, or sorry, Spargo rather, Ooh. has to be careful with how much he's panic air dodging on hit. Yeah, that's two straight exchanges, like you said, where he panic air dodged and got punished for it. So that's just so much percent that possibly could have been avoided if that was not the case. But, you know, MK Leo doing a good job just continuing to, uh, to you know, chip away at this deficit, and I'll take a little bit of a lead. Got to be careful, though, of that rising up beat. Leo gets popped up by it, but he's not going to get interrupted by it. Spargo has limits, so he should be able to recover this no problem. But Leo is still swinging at him, and Spargo looks Ooh. lost in the face of all of this attrition. Another hit with the gun, and down he goes. Leo taking the red pill, channeling the Matrix, and shooting his shot. Uh, the worst in. that can happen is he gets back to stage, right? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for that drag down fair one. Spargo, though, just going to hold shield safely. Leo, what are you cooking? Definitely needs a little bit more time in the oven at this very moment. But again, I'm going to get back to the ledge nicely. You know, Leo, there's certainly a universe where he can maybe survive this until Arsene comes out. There we go. He's here, so if you can capitalize on Arsene now, 
Whoa! Oh, he misses! Oh! Spargo goes for it all just on the second stock and pays for it with the set. MK Leo, a 3-1 win, and that puts him one set away from top eight. One of the most historic rivalries in Smash. You see, you see it time and time again. Uh, but in that case, Spargo betting, betting the house on, uh, you know, on that falling down there right there. And uh, they're going to come up a little bit short as the Arsene. Uh, we'll know, see it again here on the replay. I think Spargo was, like you were saying, betting it on the, the swing out, uh, like yeah, the, the momentum yeah. of the tether to put Leo into it. But Arsene spawns. And we're going to see it in slow-mo here, right? Oh, no. He's, I think he was just able to infill through it. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he put his head straight oh, through dear. that cross slash. <laughs> You see that little moment there where like Cloud kind of like stops? Look you see like right, right here? Yeah. And then it's just <laughs> like, uh, you're probably wondering how I got in this situation. And look at Spargo's <laughs> face here when Leo drops down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is just colon and then a line. Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he is not amused. Great stuff to Leo and a correction. I got caught up in the moment. He's in top eight. That's top yeah. eight winner side hey, for MK Leo. There we go. Good stuff to wow. MK Leo. Like you said, you know, definitely uh, took his lumps, you know, in, in, uh, a bit last year. But, you know, coming, uh, starting off the year strong, which is important. So. We're going to take a quick look as well at the loser's side top 16 bracket just so we can... Oh, sorry. Wait, this is, this is winners into losers. It's all of top 16. I see. So Sonics uh, ended up taking it 3-0 over Meister, moving on into top eight winners where he will face uh, the winner of Sky J and Sinji. Leo took it 3-1 over Spargo where he's going to face the winner of our next set, Tweak and Shattuck. And then down in losers, Light's waiting on some uh, top 128 stuff to finish. WebJP is going to face off against Nico, who defeated uh, Chunky Kong. And we might get that cloud ditto in bracket if Nico is able to beat WebJP. And then on the other side, we've got Red Oolong, the MDVA Wii Fit trainer, facing off against Tilde. And Oolong, certainly the uh, the mystery man in this top 16, like the one person, you look at the bracket, you go, okay, I know him. He's supposed to be here. Okay, yeah, I can see him. Oolong. <laughs> Get down for there. You're going to hurt yourself. Well, uh, he's hurting other people right now. That's the thing. No, absolutely. Definitely on uh, a run right now, you know, taking his first L of the day to MKLeo. Uh, you know, in that uh, earlier match, sticks out. But like, like you said, look at who's left in this bracket now. Last, it is a shark pit in losers right now, as well as being a shark pit in winners. You know, is, is there anywhere where you can feel comfortable? Is anywhere safe? No, no, not at all. Uh, I would be absolutely <laughs> terrified to face off against any single one of these opponents. We even saw it like the the other person who people might have like underrated a little bit going into this part of bracket was probably Sinji. Uh, because, you know, we just haven't seen him in a while. He's took a break from competing at majors or just wasn't making it as far in the majors that he did compete in. Yeah. And then he goes for that game five, multiple timeouts, cr insanity versus WebJP to move on farther into bracket and winner's side. And he got probably the best possible draw. I'm not saying it's an easy draw, but getting an Incineroar, even if that Incineroar is SkyJ, of course, is still... I would prefer to fight that than Tweak or MKLeo or Spargo if I'm playing Pac-Man. Yeah, no, absolutely, uh, for sure. Like, like, like you said, man, Sinji hasn't really been around a lot, like, in, in major-wise, uh, you know, a lot of 2023, but he is the, he's basically the optional boss in any RPG, he's, man. Like, he's the, you go out of your way, and the game is punishing you for yes. leaving the main story. <laughs> It builds character, man. It like, you know, since, character. <laughs> like, 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 Sinji, will, Sinji knows it. He'll put you through the ringer. He feeds off of it. You know, 